of the new Becca products. First of all, look at this bag. Isn't it so cute? It's like the see-through holographic gorgeous bag. Becca just came out with new shimmering skin perfectors, but they have like a really pretty shift to them. And then these gorgeous, gorgeous glosses. So this is the packaging. They're really cute. They're like their blushes and their other shimmering skin perfectors, except for it has kind of this coppery color around the rim. And this is what they look like. They're so, so beautiful. So they're about the size of the blushes, not the normal shimmering skin perfectors that come in a little bit of a bigger pan. Now, the packaging is also really beautiful. It is kind of this holographic, you can see it there. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. So each of these light chaser highlights retail for $34. It is for face and eyes. And they're really cool because a lot of them have a really pretty duochrome. And I'm gonna use one today in the video. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet but I'm gonna take you through swatches and close-ups of each of them, and then we'll try one of the highlights and then one of the lip products live on camera. So there were six of these highlight, chaser highlights that were released, and all of them are a little bit different, and they duochrome or flash a different color. All right, so the first one is Champagne Flashes Bellini. This is a soft peach with a rose gold shift. Now these are very, very smooth and soft, like their blushes, their bronzers, and then their normal shimmering skin perfectors. Ooh, that's pretty. I think that this is the one I wanna wear. Let's try this one on. So I'm just going to take this little highlight brush. This is what I always use to highlight lately. And I'm going to try to do this with my mirror very, very far away. Oh, that's so pretty. And again, these can be used on your face or your eyes. So it goes on really, really smooth. And I don't find that these are like over the top. You know, some like duochrome highlighters are a little bit overkill and not really wearable. This one is definitely wearable and really, really pretty. Is Pearl Flashes Gold. This is a creamy pearl with a golden shift. And this one's really beautiful because it has this gorgeous kind of white gold yellowy shift to it. So it's a really beautiful light pearly color and then when it hits the light it has this gorgeous um, almost like yeah white gold grainy gold shift. Really really beautiful. The next one is Opal Flashes Jade. This one is stunning. This one is a golden opal pearl with a teal sapphire shift. I think this would look beautiful on the eyes. I think this one you can also wear on the cheeks because that jade color is not overly green. It's not like this really stark green color. So I definitely think it's still wearable, but if you don't wanna wear it on your cheeks, you could definitely put this on the eyes and I think it looks so beautiful. Next is Amethyst Flashes Geode and this is a lavender duochrome with a blushed garnet shift. Notice that it's a like real lavender color. Um, to me, it just mostly pulls rose with a slight like a lavender shift to it. But that one's really pretty and that's Amethyst Flashes Geode. Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell and this is a rose with a hot pink shift. Oh my gosh, these are just so incredibly beautiful. Now these aren't going to be a product for everybody but I think they're just really fun. I think they're perfect for the summertime. This one seems very wearable. It's just a light pink with a subtle shift to it. It's not over the top. So far, I think all of these are really wearable. Surprisingly, the one that I find least wearable is the Pearl Flashes Gold, because to me, that's just a pretty strong yellow. Unless you have like an olive -y skin tone or a deeper skin tone, I think that would be really pretty on you. But, oh my gosh, they're just, they're so stunning. And the last one is Topaz Flashes Gilt, and this is a golden bronze with a soft emerald shift. And this one, you can definitely see the green shift in the pan. And then when you swatch it, it does have a pretty strong golden green. It's not like, to me, it's definitely not an emerald green. It's definitely like a softer, um, a softer yellowy green, kind of like chartreuse color, but it's absolutely beautiful. So those are the light chaser highlights. And what it says, it says, take your glow to the next level. This kaleidoscope formula shifts shades as it catches the light to create hip hypnotizing color luminosity with a metamorphic finish. 
And I just think these are super cool. I think the colors are very wearable. They're not over the top duochrome. They're not super crazy shifting colors and they're really, really pretty. And this one is just, oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Really, really beautiful. Okay, next is the glosses, the packaging. I love the packaging of them and they just look so beautiful. So there's also six glosses. And I'm gonna take you through swatches of each of them and we'll put one of these on and see how they So the first one is Pearl Times Gold. And this is a creamy pearl with a golden shift. And this has like a pearly white base with kind of some silvery, I don't really see gold glitters in it. I see a lot of silver. And then when you get closer, you see a bunch of like little gold micro glitters in it. So it's really, really pretty. And it does have a little bit of a scent, and I can't quite figure out what the scent is, but it smells really good. Kind of like a vanilla mint scent. You definitely see the gold glitters up close a lot more. This is probably one of the less wearable on its own, in my opinion, only because it has kind of a whiter base to it. So it really kind of nudes out and makes your lips look really, really pale. But it's still really pretty. If you can find a really good product to wear underneath it, I think these could really amp up your lip look. Again, super comfortable. You don't feel the glitters. It's a little bit sticky, but not, not that sticky. It's not goopy, it's not uncomfortable. Um, they feel really nice. All right, the next is Rose Quartz Time Seashell, and this is a rose with a hot pink shift. This one, when you look in the tube, you see definitely a pink base with a ton of like yellowy green glitter in it. And then when you swatch it, it's a really pretty, clear pink with this really hot pink shimmer shift to it. It's really pretty. So sometimes what you see in here, it actually translates a little bit different on your on your lips. All right, this one is the Rose Quartz and Seashell color. And this one just looks like a really pretty soft pink with kind of some hot pink um, shimmers in it. Really pretty. And again, you can't feel any of the little glitters and it's a super smooth, formula. Slightly tacky, but not like overly sticky or goopy. The next is called Champagne Dream and Bellini. And this one is a soft peach with a rose gold shift. And this one definitely is, has some really cool orangey coral uh, shimmers in it. And it does have more of that pinky peachy shift to it. Really pretty. Definitely very wearable. Um, I find you, if you want it to be a little bit more intense, you have to build it up a little bit. So it takes about two dips into the lip gloss, but this one's super pretty. It kind of is like a clear base with um, some peachy shimmer, but it's really pretty. Definitely very wearable. So that one is Champagne Dream and Bellini. And then, then we have Opal versus Jade, and this is a golden opal pearl with a teal sapphire shift. Now this one definitely has some really pretty teal glitters in it that give it that really cool shift. Absolutely pretty. It feels really comfortable. Like I like the way it feels. Oh, there you go. You're starting to get a little bit of duochrome. So it's very, very subtle. All right, then we have Amethyst uh, times Geode, and this one is a lavender duochrome with an aquamarine shift. This one, I definitely see the lavender, I see more lavender than I do aquamarine. This one has almost like a light pinky base with some hot neon purple glitters. Um, this one, I definitely see less of the aquamarine and more of a lavender, like neon lavender color. Really pretty, gives me the unicorn vibes. Absolutely stunning. Definitely, you can see the lavender and aquamarine shift in it a lot more than you can uh, in the swatches on your hand. And I mean, I can see it in my mirror. I hope my viewfinder is picking it up as much. This one definitely has a strong shift. So I'm looking in the mirror. It's like really cool. Hmm, really fun. Okay, so that one is Amethyst and Geode. And then the last one is Topaz times Gilt, and this is a golden bronze with a soft emerald shift. And this one's a little bit of a deeper color, very wearable though, it has some um, kind of that same neon colored lavender glitters in it. Um, and I don't see a really strong emerald shift to that one. I just kind of see like a muted 
brown almost with some lavender, neon lavender glitter. Definitely can see the duochrome a little bit more in this one and it has like kind of a cool shift to it. They're a little bit different than the metallic type lipsticks that are really trendy right now because those are usually pretty opaque and very metallic. This one has like that duochrome sheen to it. It's really pretty. Have you guys picked up any of the light chaser highlights? Which colors are you getting? What are your favorites? Leave them in the comments below. Again, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.